Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and some more unboxings here. So we picked up a vehicle from the guys behind the in-country game and adding that to just some of the collections of terrain and other things that we have for games like in-country, Spectre Ops, things like that. So in other words, modern uh, 28 mil uh, combat games or miniature war games. So we're eager to check this one out. Um, we've got, picked up some of the minis before and we have a couple videos on that from in-country itself. <laughs> excuse me, including the um, the two-player starter and the rules and all that. So eager to see what uh, their uh, quality is like here on a vehicle kit. We're going to get this open up for you guys, and we'll show you everything inside. Alrighty, guys, we're back, and we got everything opened up here for the uh, vehicle kit here, the Chop Top, as it's called, for in-country. So appears to be 3D printed, uh, but also just excellent quality. So um, the vehicle itself just is, like, very... Uh, it's hard to describe like it's it just feels like completely solid like it's a um like just a, a different uh almost like a die cast kit it just feels big and chunky um and not sort of the usual things that you would see with like i guess your your average level 3d printing so they must be using some pretty high quality stuff here but again fantastic detail all around on the kit still gotta clip some of that stuff out to make room for the Driver, speaking of which, again, great detail here. He's got like a walkie-talkie or something. Arm for the steering wheel. Got the gunner as well, so ammo pouches and everything on him as well. And uniform. The gun itself. Good stuff there. Some sandbags that are kind of getting mounted on there. Tripod for the gun. Seat for the driver as well. And then I think another little bit here that connects off on the the other side of the gun or something along those lines. Oh, actually, yeah, that'll sit in there and then the gun will kind of pivot on that. So very cool. So altogether, what is that? Three, six, seven, eight pieces in the kit. Everything looks pretty dang good. Minimal, minimal issues as far as um, just clearing up the usual things from uh, like the 3D printing process. A couple of things just to file down, shave off a little bit, clip those little things out here. But other than that, this thing's basically ready to go out of the box. Um, so we'll get this cleaned up and assembled and then um hopefully ready for the tabletop soon we're uh getting to the point where we're sifting through and getting all of our scatter train and stuff organized as well for um games like in country inspector ops so um we're, we're um getting getting closer and closer to actually having uh some of our boards fully uh ready to go so check out some of our recent videos too on some of the terrain that we've been featuring from like miniature building authority and so on but um yeah there's gonna be some cool stuff coming uh for modern games here over the summer and fall and onwards um, on the channel. So stay tuned to that. But let us know specifically in this video if you guys have been trying out in country at all, what you think of that game as far as a modern rule set goes and some of the quality of their figures. So, so far, absolutely zero complaints. Really good stuff and pretty reasonable uh, price all around. So um, we'll put up a link in the description as well for in country. Uh, but hit us up in the comments, guys. Like and subscribe, and we'll have more soon.